Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It is going to be um, the first week. I'm sunburned today. It's going to be this, the first week of uh, August 2017, and it's going to be wonderful. My eyes are tired. I'm tired. Uh, anyway, we are going to go straight into the reading. Whatsoever is happening in this week, it's going to be a wonderful, positive week. I don't think this light is good but anyway it's gonna be a wonderful positive week for you Virgos whatever is happening it's going to be good um, we are going to look uh, um, further to see what this week is about it's uh, it's your week you Virgos because it is uh, the week of uh, temperance and the energy of the week of temperance is going to be just so so wonderful whatever is happening in the lives of you Virgos it's going to be good um, the energy of justice is here whatever is going on there is going to be a profound wonderful energies that will be coming in so we need to understand what is happening we need to um, go forward and look at situations in our lives and see what is happening it's going to be good because um, the five of Pentacles is in reverse there are people quarreling about certain things uh, the king and queen of the swords is here so be aware of these swords people um, the energy of the swords energies are here so be aware of whatever situation it is whatever situation there is the number three is going to be a very very vocal point because the zodiac energy is the fire and this week is this week is your week you Virgos out there so it's going to be wonderful um in the first three days you have all these um these these hair people these air situations going on so be aware of what is happening because whatever is happening you're going to be aware the number three and the number five is going to be significant three and five and we have 3 and 33 and we have 5 um and, and we have number 1 so we have 1 3 and 5 okay your focus in this week is going to be the king of cups for whatever reason it is it's going to be the energy of the king of cups so the king of cups energies are here and it's going to be a wonderful wonderful energies that is coming out so it's going to be good whoever the king of cups is is playing a, a significant role in your life in this week and he is going to help you guys and with that help you have the six of cups which the king of cups is a soul family is someone from your soul family that is going to be working with you guys in this week whatever is going on it's going to be a wonderful and a good situation that is happening so be aware of what is happening okay so I did give you a number so whatever is going on in your life um, you have the energy of the magician on Monday okay the energy of the magician which can be good but whatever is happening with this situation with the energy of the magician we have the knight of wands uh, whoever this knight of wands is I'm not really um, feeling a good energy coming off this knight of wands whoever he is be aware of who he is because he's trying to get away with something it can be news coming in from certain people and he's trying to get away from from something so be aware of this I'm not really sure that I really like this person whoever he is because see, he's working with an energy that he gets um, people to do whatever he wants so be aware of this what is happening as we move on we have the energy vibration of the king of sword and if you are having a relationship with a king of swords it's going to be a very wonderful relationship if you're in a relationship and you're seeing this king of sword on the side release him let him go whatever is happening let him go it's not the place for you it's not something for you just let him go let him be happy with his family um, because the this is can be a um, whoever this person is they're, they're not really being honest let them be happy with their family okay so um, 
whoever this person is it could be someone that you are married with or that sort of a thing whoever this person is let them be with their family okay and if it's uh, you're married to this person then it's going to be a wonderful good energy whatever is happening so we have the queen of swords uh, I'm really not really liking these people <laughs> Um, the king and queen of swords uh, right beside each other whoever is this queen of swords you're, some people are going to get a message from this queen of swords okay and this message is going to be a message of comforting she can be nice you're Virgos you can work uh, very well with these king of swords so you know this could be a good message a loving message that she's gonna send you these people can be nice depends on what vibration they're working on I'm feeling a Libra someone who is a Libra but it can also be a Gemini or a an Aquarius so this is what is happening um, there is a situation that you um, Virgos need to deal with and the situation have to do with the king and queen of swords and whatever the situation is so that you have them um, one is and it's all about family with that it's oh, it's, it's, it's family with a king of swords but as a message of love from the queen of swords so this could be um, good okay whatever is happening we have the three of Pentacles and we also have the three of hearts so maybe you're trying to work with a group of people or maybe you're connected with certain people and um, it's an heartbreak it's as if you're going to get news or you know they're not really honest whatever the situation is they're not really honest so be aware of this because with the threes it's have to do with people who um, are working together with you and uh, or you're you're being with them or whatever the situation is but be you know be aware of this because um, these people are not really um, nice and you don't have to feel a broken heart because you just realize the energy vibration of these people so whatever is going on Thursday um, you know don't worry about whatever is going to happen because sometimes when you feel um, it's a push to realize that you are not connected to these people and it is good the five of Pentacles is in reverse on Friday and this is good because there is a lot of people who are going to be in conflict whatever the situation is on Friday there is the, the five of Pentacles in reverse whatever is going on there's going to be a lot of conflicts around money whatever the situation is there's going to be a lot of conflicts around money so you know be aware of that as we move on we see the energy vibration of the and this has been coming up the Knights of Cups has been coming up whoever is this Knights of Cups this Knight of Cups is has been coming up for a lot of people I don't know what is the situation because you're working with the energy of the hurt and the fire so this knight of cup is like an healing he's bringing a healing to a lot of signs and a lot of people this is the energy of the Pisces the cancer or the scorpion and whoever that person is they are bringing financial balance to their world and this is going to be good because and they're trying to build a, a strong foundation in their life so it could be you know your son it could be a, a partner who is coming in this is the energy vibration of someone between the ages of 18 and 35 and this is good so whatsoever is happening there is, there is a building of a positive energies with this person and this is going to be good on Saturday so maybe on Saturday you have met someone who has you know you women who out there looking for someone you have met someone on Saturday okay we have justice and this justice comes up and it's going to bring you um, the three of Pentacles so whatever that was unjust is going to bring balance in your life and bring you the energy of the three of Pentacles so this is wonderful I'm love I'm loving this week reading I'm using uh, two new decks that I've, I've gotten and this is so wonderful this is so positive so remember whatever is happening justice uh, whatever has happened the unbalances of the injustice that has happened you are going to have a new a good um, outcome because it's going to bring you uh, together with groups of people that is going to help you for to do whatever certain situation as I look at your week um, heartbreak and it's just um, a situation with a group of people that it's going to there's going to be an end coming in um, to a group of people or you're going to 
feel heartbroken over a group of people whatever is happening it's okay I you know the night of ones um, this energy it's, it's, it's as if um, it's someone who is uh, who knows how to manipulate certain things so be aware of who is this person because it's like someone who knows to manipulate certain things so be aware because um, this situation is going to affect um, a lot of you people so um, you know constantly be aware of the people who are around you love is it's essential in the middle of the week the Knights of Cups is going to come with love the Knights of Cups you know the energy of the fish the Pisces energy of the Pisces um the the, the Kansas and the scorpions are so up in this week so realize who you are involved with and who is coming in your life because this is good because whatever the knight of cups comes up two times is he's it's really love it's really connecting it's really a message of love that is connecting to you so whoever this knight of cups is is going to be a message of um, positive information that is coming because uh, it's a message of love that is coming in so in the middle of the week you know your week is crowned by love but on Thursday you have a heartbreak against a group some organization whatever that is uh, leave it behind because you don't need to hold on and that uh, whatever the art ache is whatever the art break is uh, with a group of people that's okay you don't have to really think about it uh, you know sometimes it's like sometimes the universe is showing you that you don't need to be with certain people the card that you have oh my god this is beautiful heart chakra so we need to work on our art chakra whatever the situation is so we, you need to work with your art chakra I love myself and others unconditional and naturally loving relationships so I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships so it's a week where you're going to work on your heart chakra and this is going to be extremely good whatever the situation is in this week remember that love is the only thing that is real and no one no matter if people are hating on you and people are doing stuff it's okay because love is the only thing that is real I'm using the conscious Oracle I've done this and we have um, the face the fates so this is good the face this is good let me see what it the face is it's, it's like pose you know I always think of this card as a pose you know something new is about to happen okay and it's the number 17 card so it's, it's the energy of the infinity abundancy and also the star fate karma acceptance that there are things you can't change and knowing what those things are the sincerity prize sums up the, the meaning of this cards God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference there are things in life you will never have control over the condition brought on by the evolution of the collective by natural and by your past experience may be fate pardoned on by the spirits for a greater purpose you cannot understand in the, this lifetime it may not be a your card to understand why certain event occurs but you can accept the mysteries and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you this is the wisdom containing in the sincerity prior so this is fate it's fate of what um, you know we can't change uh, the way fate is going and that's how we have to look at this week uh, whatever is happening remember that the um, king and uh, the king and queen of swords is in this week whoever these people are and however they're going to interact with you the king of sword is going to interact uh, as um, a happy family he's going to try to bring forth an happy family and um, the queen of swords you are going to is as if you 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 Virgos are 
you know having a relationship with a queen of swords uh, and there is someone that is going to come in between your relationship that that person is uh, the knight of cups uh, so be aware of that in the love thing I, I just looked back and saw this whatsoever is happening justice is going to bring you balance and it's going to bring you materialistic it's going to bring you a collective to work uh, to work on something to bring um, money in your life and this is so good because right beside each other you have the four of Pentacles and the three of Pentacles which is extremely good and you have the knight of um, the knight of cups coming in with the four of Pentacles trying to bring financial balance and then you have justice with the three of Pentacles so it's going to be a positive wonderful endeavor whatever it is remember that love is the only thing that is real and I'm saying namaste until next week yeah.